Come on, baby. Cause that very self-destruct. Please KO the Arc Dizzle. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield of VGC 2021 video. Now, today I'm actually recording from somewhere else, so if the sound is a bit different, uh, that's that's because I'm in like my room at home and not actually uh, at my apartment. So the sound quality might be a little bit different, and, and the recording quality might be a little bit different as well because I'm recording off my laptop. But today I'm going to be trying out a team uh, that revolves around Custat Berry Explosion or Self Destruct Snorlax. So. The whole deal is you get a belly drum off and then you um, use your Custat Berry to go for the priority self-destruct and just KO everything on the field with such a powerful move. Uh, and you have a ghost type Dragapult here, so I'm assuming that's the main Dynamax target. This team is by the Craze Mimikyu if you guys want to try it out. The code for the team will be in the description down below, but let's go ahead and get into it. I haven't practiced at all with the team, but I find it very, very interesting. Uh, I just think it's going to be a really cool team overall to showcase considering how interesting like just the Custat Berry as a whole is. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I'll be bringing you guys some daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And do me a favor, comment down below what your favorite new strategy in this format, like what, what your new favorite archetype pretty much is in the format. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So looks like we're facing Regigigas Weezing. Um, and I'm going to assume that's Dark Urshifu. And the rest of the team, it looks like a very physically offensive team, uh, with the exception of likely the Colossal. So, Ndidi, or not Ndidi, but uh, Tapu Fini is a must in this in this team, I think. Um, unfortunately, Snorlax won't get its Custat Berry if the Regigigas Weezing lead comes out, so I don't want to go with that. What I could do is bait in a Max Strike while Dragapult's on the field. And then bring in Tapu Fini on like a max darkness. So I might go for that. Um, I'll go ahead and I will lead off with... I think I'll lead off with Tapu Fini and... Kartana? No. I'll go in Didi, Kartana, Dragapult, and Tapu Fini, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I think that I think that'll be a, a good enough team comp. I'm not sure how this team would deal with Regigigas Weezing, but uh, let me actually read off what they've read. For those of you, or what they've written. So for those of you who don't know, Custap Berry adding in the Crown Tundra, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can lead it Snorlax and Didi, Belly Drum turn one, Explosion, and then clean up with the rest. Okay, that doesn't help too much with this particular matchup, but it's whatever. As we face off versus Smog Smog and Regigigas. I had no idea that was his name. Oh my god, that's so funny. His name is Smog Smog. Okay, so luckily I can actually just redirect the max strike. Uh, I think what I want to do here is just go for a protect to minimize damage. And I'll switch in my Dragapult here. Who is immune to the uh who is immune to move to the move they're gonna be going for, the max strike. They should go for it into the Kartana or maybe go for a Max Flare into Kartana if they have Fire Punch. Regardless, the move should be going into Kartana, and Dragapult should eat it, as long as it's either a Fire Move or the... Um, oh my god, if they go for the Ice Move, I'm in trouble. But I think they would Max Strike to keep up momentum. I think they should always Max Strike, at least. If, it, if it's an Ice Move, I might have made a huge mistake, but as long as they didn't go for an Ice Move here, I can just stall out their Dynamax turns uh, by swapping out my Pokemon. So next turn, I'll probably just go into Tapu Fini to take a dark move or an ice move, whatever they might go for if they have it. Okay, let's see what they go for here. Obviously, they're going to Dynamax the Regigigas. Similar to our team, the Regigigas archetype is revolving around like just busting a huge hole in the team's defenses and then cleaning up with the Pokemon in the back, which is why it's such powerful Pokemon in the back. You know, like uh, Urshifu Dark and, uh, and Rillaboom, they're all very good at cleaning up after Regigigas. As they go for the Max Strike into the Ndidi, okay, okay. Interesting play. I definitely don't want to switch in Tapu Fini for that slot, and I'm actually really confused why they didn't protect at all. If they go for the Will-O-Wisp into Dragapult, I'm in trouble. There's the Taunt, okay. Okay, so, um... More likely than not, they'll just go for another Max Strike 
I'd rather get in Kartana here. And we'll also get in Tapu Fini to cover the possible Max Darkness or Max Ice move play into the Dragapult, since they wouldn't be going for a Max Strike into Dragapult. So really, it's just about playing defensive until this thing's gone. And I want to keep Ndidi around, because it's one of my best checks to their Weezing. Here's the Max Strike. Okay, we should resist that and eat it okay enough, you know, because it's such a powerful move. We'll eat it okay enough. See what they go for here, maybe a Will-O-Wisp. Yep, there it is. We avoid it, but it was Tapu Fini, so it wouldn't really matter too much anyways. Here, I'll go ahead and... I mean, they're likely just going to Will-O-Wisp into the, into the Kartana slot anyways. Um, it's in my best interest to save Kartana, since it's such a good Pokemon in this matchup. I'm going to take kind of a risk here. I'll get an Indeedee, and I think I just go for the Raw Protect. And then my main priority is going to be knocking out that <laughs> knocking out that Weezing. It hasn't gone for Protect once, which is curious, considering most of these teams would opt to Protect the Weezing at least once in the first two turns. I'm going to assume they Will-O-Wisp here. They Max Lightning. Okay, I should eat that behind my Protect. And I can follow me away the next hit. And try to get rid of this Weezing. You see the Will-O-Wisp? Indeed he avoids. Okay. Um... I kind of want to just helping hand and KO this thing, but I also want to play it safe. I think I'll just go for the expanding force into this guy and um, try to call the Max Lightning into Kartana. I'll get in Kartana here for the Tapu Fini. It's pretty risky, but I think it's worth the risk if I'm able to uh, make the right call here. Especially if they go for a poison move into it. There's a Thunder Punch. Indeed, he should eat that up. Expanding force. Let's see how much this does. Hopefully, it just KOs. Okay. And they go for the Sludge Bomb. Awesome. Awesome. This is actually so good for me because I can just go ahead and start clicking Max Airstream with my Kartana. So, I will follow me here. I will gladly follow me here. And I'll click this Max Airstream into the, uh, into the Weezing to hopefully knock it out. Because Kartana goes stupid. Kartana goes absolutely bonkers if I can remove the Weezing from the field. Especially with Tapu Fini next to it, it should be fine. Even if there's like an Urshifu in the back, I can just go for Max Airstream into Moonblast. As my phone rings. <laughs> they protect the Weezing, that's fine. I follow Meat anyways. I'll get the KO next turn. Max Airstream? Maybe I'll KO anyways. I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, Weezing's got really high defense. I, I was not going to KO there. Get a speed boost. So I can actually KO it with my Ndidi now. They go for Ice Punch. I'm not going to survive this. Okay. However, now I could actually... Ooh, I could do this. I th Here's the thing. If I knock out the, um, the Weezing, their terrain goes away, and I think I should be able to eat up any kind of attack from Regigigas. So what I'll do here is I'll go for a Calm Mind, as well as a Max Airstream into the Weezing to knock it out. And I can eat any hit from that Regigigas with either of my Pokemon. And then I'm in a really, really good position to win. There's the Protect. They do not get the double, so this will KO. I'll get plus two uh, speed and plus one attack on my Kartana. I'll eat up any hit from them. I can't get status since my Misty Terrain will go up before their attack will go off. And on top of that, um, 
their attack's going to get cut in half now that slow starts activated. Awesome. And slow start. And beast boost. For those of you who didn't know, yes, beast boost activates even if you knock out a wheezing. There's my calm mind. I should eat any hit from this guy. Since his attack is garbage now, you know. There's the ice punch. Can't get status. That's doing nothing to me. Epic, dude. That that's just epic. That is that is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. What is that? Yep, okay. So there is the boy. I'm going to go ahead and just double into him. He's probably just going to sucker punch Kartana. Um, I'll just go for the max airstream. He might be focus sash. He might be choice band. This covers both options. If he's focus sash, I'll outspeed and, you know, KO him. Oh, no, he is he's choice band. And he ended up going for wicked blow. That's really the only two. I, oh, no, I, I'm sorry. I'm playing on an especially small screen right now, so it is focus sash. Uh, however... Tap if any will outspeed and KO now. I couldn't tell. Like, that little bit of HP wasn't visible to me. Get my KO, and I think that's game. They really don't have a way of beating Kartana short of a crit right now. As they go for Thunder Punch, that won't do nothing. Oh, yeah, Tapu Finny. Oh, yeah. Give me my berry. Give me my berry. Let me get back up to... What is it? This is like a wiki berry, right? Oh, yeah, we are well above half... It is gamer time, guys. It is absolutely gamer time. There's the Rillaboom. Now, a Grassy Glide would be concerning, but consider the following. Um, I just KO it. <laughs> what if I just KO it, you know? And I don't think I'm in range of a Grassy Glide, since I'm times 4 resistant to it. So, I'll go for my Protect here. He could actually fake out with his Rillaboom. So maybe my play is actually to switch out Tapu Fini for Dragapult, since he has Fly. And I could just KO the, the Regigigas. I'm more concerned about him, to be honest. Yeah, I'll go for Leaf Blade and Regigigas. If he doesn't fake out, then I should win. But he's likely just going to fake out Kartana. Since it's the biggest threat in the field. But I don't want to take the risk. If he Grassy Glides into Tapu Fini, that could be really bad. Yep, Grassy Glide. Kartana should not be in range of that. Yep. Get my Leaf Blade off, KO this boy. And now I can just send in Tapu Fini to reset the terrain and KO him. Awesome. Kartana is making big ups, dude. He's making big ups. I really want to win with this uh, Snorlax strategy, though. So next game, I'm going to be going for that. Let me go ahead and get in the Tapu Fini here. Go ahead and click this Aerial Ace for the KO. And that was a clean game. We played that very well. I will say we played that very well. That's how you have to play against Regigigas Weezing. You have to play extremely, extremely safely. Make a lot of defensive switches. Protect as much as you can. If you can stall out those three turns of Dynamax and then KO the Weezing, you're, you're Gucci, man. Awesome. Oh, wait, he lived? Bro, what? Okay. I mean, we're fine with that. I KO him with Dragapult anyways. I just thought he wouldn't live that. Wow, what were we at? We were at like plus three attack, weren't we? I thought we were at plus three. If we're, maybe we were at plus two and I, was, I just wasn't counting. But yeah, um, even though we're in terrain, Dragon Darts will do it. If you don't know how Misty Terrain works, it, it protects the um, opposing Pokemon. If, if the Pokemon's on the ground touching the Misty Terrain, they take less damage. So... That, that's that's how it works. It's sort of like electric terrain, how if the Pokemon isn't touching the ground, it's not immune to sleep. Some people think that if your dragon type isn't touching the ground, then you're able to use it. Uh, it's it's the other way around. The Pokemon gets protected, the attack's damage isn't cut. It's it's sort of like that. So yeah, if, if you're going for a dragon move against like a, a flying dragon type, it's full damage. All right, let's get another battle. Continue battling here. And depending on how long the battle is, I might get a third. But dang, I really want to win with this, uh, I really want to win, win with this Snorlax combo. 
Hopefully it's not another Regigigas Weezing team, because we cannot bring that to Regigigas Weezing. 881. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait. No, that's Regigigas Weezing. Dang it, why are so many people running that? Why is there so much Regigigas Weezing? I mean, I have to do pretty much the same thing. But I really wish I didn't have to, man. I really wish I didn't. Hmm. Can Clefairy eat a hit? You know what? I don't even care if I lose. I don't even care if I lose. I'm going to go all in with the Snorlax thing. I'm going to go all in with the Snorlax thing. I'll even bring in a Didi, right? So once the... Um, once everything is down, Regigigas Weezing-wise, it looks like my best bet is Kartana. So we'll go with that. I Like, here's the thing. This is not an optimal play, but I really want to try it. <laughs> I really want to try it. And especially if he doesn't lead off with Regigigas Weezing, I just absolutely nay nay on him. It'd be really cool if this was the one guy who didn't lead off with Regigigas Weezing. It'd be really awesome if he was the one guy who didn't, you know? I hope that the microphone's like picking me up loud enough because I, I don't know it like on the um on the monitor it looks as though my voice is really quiet but I have a feeling that's just like the screen deceiving me since it's a small screen that I'm recording on. Come on. Okay, Porygon wheezing. I can live with that because they don't put on too much pressure. They really don't put on too much pressure. I might just do this. I might just do this, man. Um, okay, good. It does have protect. Let me follow me. Let me go for the belly drum. I'm just going to explode on these boys. I don't care. I don't even need my berry. I'll just explode on them. Big explosions. You feel? Big explosions. Imagine if they set up Trick Room right now. Imagine. Couldn't be me. There's the taunt. There's the Ice Beam. Critical hit, too. Hmm. Do I sack my Ndidi? I will say yes. <laughs> I will say yes. I will sack my Ndidi. And here's why. I want to count on them. I'll, I'll get in the Ndidi, right? Oh, I can't protect this turn. What if he burns me, though? Ah, oh, that'd be so annoying. Do I go for it? Maybe I just Dynamax. I could just Dynamax, but I'm concerned about the burn. You know what? I think I'm willing to go for it. I can't protect, though. That's the issue. Let me, um... <laughs> World Store. Oh, I can't Helping Hand. Alright, Moonblast. You. Self-Destruct. You. You. Just go for it. Just do it. Whatever. I don't care. I want to try it. They didn't protect. Snorlax? Oh my god, he's poisoned. I just have to survive one hit. That's it. Oh no, they have foul play. No, all of my dreams down the freaking gutter. That's so disappointing. All of my dreams down the gutter. That's just how it is. That, that's, that's just the way it is. I'll get in the Indeedy here. That's just the way it is. I mean, obviously, expanding force is very scary for them. Uh, I'll get in my Kartana for the Clefairy. And I will attempt an expanding force on the Weezing. I don't expect it to go off without a hitch. This has become the Kartana game. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that didn't work out. Yeah, uh, foul play isn't even that common on Porygon, I believe. I think it's like the seventh most used move so uh, I, that's a pretty poor matchup for me unfortunately this might ko ah not quite sludge bomb we're immune foul play 
Okay, into the Ndidi, I can live with that. I kind of want to double into the Porygon, but I have a feeling they're just going to Trick Room on me. What Mon do they have in the back? They have, like, they probably have the... They probably have the Marowak in the back as a thing. No, let's do this. I'll Max Knuckle... I'll actually Max Knuckle you to try to get this KO. Um, and I'll follow me away this hit in case they fall in case they try to go for foul play. Because they're just going to Trick Room. Um, I should be able to do a lot of damage this next turn if I can follow me and go for a Max Airstream into the uh, into the Marowak. But I have a feeling I already lost is the thing. I don't know. I still have the I still have the Clefairy in the back. I still have the Clefairy in the back. So if I can redirect away two moves, I should be fine. Weezing goes for Protect. If I get this KO, I'm in a pretty good spot. Because I'll get plus two. And it's it's pretty... It's it's resisted, so... I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if I'll get the KO. It should be close. Oh my god. <laughs> that did nothing. I do, however, get to plus one. Helping Hand would not have fixed that. I can follow me away the next hit and go for another Max Knuckle. Get up to plus three. Max Knuckle you. He might will o but he should expect it to get Follow me so I won't go for that. I almost want to get in my... <laughs> I almost want to Protect here, actually. I'll go for the Protect so I'm guaranteed to be able to get the next Follow me off. Because they, they should Taunt here, I believe. Hey, okay, we made the right call there. I'm assuming there's a Marowak in the back. I might be able to make a, a comeback here. Because I have two Follow Me users in the back, and I'm going to get a plus three Kartana. And Psychic Terrain, which doesn't really help much, but it's still really cool. Neutralizing Gas is gone. This Max Airstream is going to have to be able to KO, man. Maybe there isn't a Kartana in the back. Or may maybe there isn't a, um, a Marowak in the back. Maybe I just managed to pull a sneaky one on them, you know? Likely not. Likely a Marowak. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I do have two Follow Me users in the back. I can go for the Max Airstream here, and if he lets me get off this initial one, I think I can win. Let me follow me. The foul play is going to hurt for sure, though, because he's going to be able to get that off, I think. But dang, this is going to be a really close match. <laughs> Follow me. Tell me you didn't max guard. There's the max flare. I'm going to lose my Ndidi here. And this foul play is going to hurt real bad. But I think Kartana at plus three can take it. And I dropped my phone. Oh, yeah. Ice Beam. Okay. Well, I can't get frozen, so I'm honestly Gucci with that. Critical hit's a little annoying. But, oh, my God. I think I'm guaranteed. I think I'm guaranteed to get the KO here. Oh, no, I'm not. There is no way I'm guaranteed to get that KO. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. I need Trick Room to run out is how I win this match. And I cannot protect, so... <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, because two Aerial Aces will not do the job here. There's two turns of Trick Room. I think I just lose. I think I just lose, bro. How, how could I get away with this? I suppose I just Aerial Ace and follow me and hope that by some miracle Clefairy lives. But I definitely just threw that game by trying to go with the, the uh, Snorlax lead. Is 
Max Flare. Yeah, there's no way Clefairy lives that. It's in the sun from a freaking Marowak. Crit did not matter. In no universe did that crit matter. I'm going to have to crit here if I want to win. And even then, the Ice Beam is going to be doing a lot. Dang, okay, yeah. I mean, I, I, I wanted to go for it just in case the next match wasn't a guaranteed like match where I could bring the Snorlax strategy. I'll try it one more time. I'll try it one more time. I'll go for the strat one more time. But that's all good, you know? That's just the way things are sometimes. Sometimes you run into foul play on a Porygon 2 when... In any other situation, you would have been able to do your fun little Snorlax strategy, but it's all good. That's just Pokemon, you know? All right, let's continue battling. Let's try one more. I think I'm just going to bring Snorlax regardless because I really want to I really want to do it, you know? I don't care too much about my ranking on here. I'm more of a showdown player than anything. Like this ladder, this is for YouTube content. Showdown, that, that's where I care about my ranking. Even though I have, like, not laddered at all seriously in this format. Oh, okay, wait, no, this is this is one where we can do it. Okay, no, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this one actually is kind of free. Um, let me bring Snorlax and Ndidi. That seems to be the play here. In the back, I'm going to want to bring the Dragapult, certainly, 100% of the time. And I'm going to go Kartana. Just because it has a nice matchup versus the majority of their team. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay. So they end up going with the Slush Rush lead, which indeed he actually counters pretty well. Since the Follow Me will be going before everything. Yeah, this is fine. Especially since I have a Custet Berry. So I'll go ahead and I'll go for my Belly Drum here. Uh, a Blizzard will not knock me out. And will Follow Me away the Bolt Beak, which... Since I'm going before them, it won't knock me out. Especially, I, I don't have VEV spreads for this team, but I assume it's like max defense in DD. Oh, they go for the Blizzard. Interesting. Did they double Blizzard? That could be an issue. I really hope not. They double Blizzarded. Ah, uh, that's not good. We can't Belly Drum. Oh my god. Why, why am I like only facing teams where I can't do my thing? That's so disappointing. Okay, there's still a chance. Let me self-destruct. And we'll get in Dragapult. <laughs> Let's just try it. The Custet Bigger will activate here. I don't know if we KO. I, I don't know if we KO. I really hope we can KO the Arc Desult here, because otherwise we're in huge trouble. Come on, baby. Custet Berry self-destruct. Please KO the Arc Desult. Oh my god, no! <laughs> the Arc Desult lived! Everything lived, technically, that Focus Sash. <laughs> Dang, okay, we got Nanade. I mean, maybe we can do something with Kartana. Maybe. We are Assault Vest and they just went down. They probably just double Blizzarded. Okay, yeah, there it is. I don't know how much speed is on the Kartana. Uh, indeed, he absolutely has to protect this turn, though. Metagross the Sleepy, okay. If I'm faster than this, uh... If I'm faster than this Ninetales, this could work out for me. It's a speed tie, if, we're, if they're max speed, which they likely are. But, I don't know. Uh, let me just go for the max Knuckle, so I can get plus two. And I'll protect your hoping that they don't go for max steel spike into me. 
because then I can helping hand a max knuckle into their Metagross and likely be able to pick up like a three hit KO at that point. I hope so. <laughs> if I, if they're faster than me though, I don't think we win just because of uh, Auroraville. Or who knows, maybe they don't even have Auroraville. Maybe they're pure offense. I would actually prefer the Blizzard here. Granted, I don't get frozen. They should Dynamax Metagross. If it weren't for the Max Quake, I'll be happy with the outcome of this turn. But like I said, this I wasn't going into this match completely expecting to win. I was more just like, I, I want to try out this Snorlax thing. But unfortunately, we only got to click it once. <laughs> Go for the Protect here. Please tell me you blizzarded. Oh, we win the speed tie. Awesome. We're going to get up to plus two. And if Indeedee lives, which I really hope it does. I really hope it does. We're safety goggles Indeedee, right? Pretty certain we're safety goggles. E no, we're focus Sash. Okay, so no, we are going to take some chip damage from the hail. There's the next Steel Spike likely into Indeedee. Oh no, it's in the Metagross. Okay, that's fine. Because we can helping hand this next one. In fact, I think we just have to like ignore Metagross and knock out its partner and we can just win the match. Especially if we helping hand a max knuckle and get up to plus four. Because there's no way Metagross wins the 1v1 versus Kartana at plus four once the Dynamax ends, you know? Ooh, okay. So we're only going to be at plus three, unfortunately, but we will knock out this thing. They typically don't carry Protect, and Psychic Terrain is blocking any fake out for the Indeedee. So Indeedee will live. Uh, let's just max Knuckle into you. And I'll Helping Hand just in case, but I'm relatively certain it would knock out anyways. Alright, so we're at plus one after that last one. This will get us up to plus three. I think Sacred Sword was still two at KO. Especially if he just steal spikes into the Indeedee here. Okay, we get up to plus three. There's the steel spike. Into the Indeedee. He's going to get the KO here. I still get one more max knuckle. And I'm at plus three, so it will be doing a decent amount even though he's at plus two defense. It's going to be an interesting, interesting endgame. Two steel types, and we can both hit each other neutrally, but my attack is way higher than his. But his defenses overall are much, much higher than mine, so go for this max knuckle. He should just steel spike again. If he goes for a quake, I would consider that a bit of a throw. Oh, he max guards. Okay. I'm fine with that, I think, because my sacred sword ignores his defense boosts. Yeah, my sacred sword ignores the defense boost, so I think I win. I think he had the Steel Spike there to get chip damage and hope that he just lives. I'm going to say plus three Sacred Sword from this range is a two at KO. Okay, Sacred Sword ignores defense boosts. Let's do this. Watch him have like, <laughs> freaking like, Oh, wait, okay. No, critical hit just KOs. I don't think that mattered at all, really, since he had no way of KOing me without a critical hit. So, good game. We did it. <laughs> I was going to say, watch him just have crit ice beam, or a crit ice punch or something and just KO me, but yeah, that crit definitely didn't matter. Um, good game to my opponent. Uh, their only way out was really um, ice punch freeze or ice punch crit, which I don't even know if ice punch crit KO'd from that range, but yeah, we managed to pull off a win, two wins with the team. Uh, one of the wins was not really Snorlax related, but I'm cool with it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I'll try to get out daily videos while I'm at home for the next couple of days. I'm, I'm home until uh, Thanksgiving, the day after. So I'll try to get all the videos I can done uh, while I'm here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.